Well, the work is over for the New Orleans Saints, at least for this week. The season is over for the Philadelphia Eagles. Mm -hmm. As we welcome you to the State Farm postgame show, the Eagles fall just short, 20-14. to 14. The New Orleans Saints move on to the NFC Championship game. And, Jimmy, this is one where Philadelphia scored the first 14 and looked like they were going to run away with it, and then the Saints well, uh, got themselves together. It's amazing what momentum will do in a ball game. And I credit Sean Payton for changing the momentum because you, you look at it, you know, right off the bat, you know, Philadelphia's got, you know, 14 points. They're going in for the third touchdown. Lattimore gets the interception. Sean Payton goes for it inside of his 35-yard line with the fake punt. And then, again, on the goal line, on the two-yard line, rather than taking the field goal, he goes for it again, gets a touchdown. Then the Saints get into a roll. But if you if, – I'm, I'm sorry, Kurt. No, but if you, if you look at the stat line the first half, this team was so evenly matched. It looked like, you know, basically the same thing, but the second half, the Eagles just had so many miscues that they just could not overcome. And here, the, on a 12-minute 12, 12 drive, you have the, the, the pick, uh, I mean, the drop pass right there. A pick, the drop pick, uh, that was an opportunity to get off the field. Here, Tate is underthrown on the incompletion, would have, which would have been a big play. And Aguilar just didn't turn around, not on the same page. Had he turned around, another big completion. And right here, just a lack of focus by Jeffrey Ball goes through his, hand, through his hands for the pick, and that kind of sealed the game. But this was a different team in the second half. And I give the, give the yep. Saints a lot of credit for turning that momentum and keep, keep pushing the second half. Didn't look good for them starting out. The 14 points, the biggest blown lead the Eagles have ever had in a playoff game, the biggest deficit the Saints have ever overcome in a playoff game. So Drew Brees now headed to his third NFC Championship game. Two touchdown passes in this victory. All right, Greg Olson with us, the tight end from the New Orleans Saints, or from the Carolina Panthers. You've seen the Saints offense run like this before, and a day like Michael Thomas had today, you've witnessed from the other sideline. Yeah, in the pregame show, I think we got a really interesting insight into kind of the mentality of Michael Thomas, and I think it came out today, Jay focused on, he considers himself a fighter. You know, fighters have their best days on the biggest, on the biggest stages, and from early in this game, you knew when the game was on the line, Drew Brees was looking for one place, we, and it came all to a head on that critical third down conversion, third and long. He came out looking for Michael Thomas. I mean, 12 catches, 171 yards, and a touchdown in your biggest game thus far. Uh, this guy's pretty unique, and, and the last time these two teams got together, somehow we even topped today, 211 yards receiving the first time they played um, out in, against L.A., and, you know, what can you say? When your best players play the biggest on the biggest stages, um, you know, you, you can't ask for any more want. than that. Yeah, it's what you want. As Michael pointed out, I, I, you know, the first half was almost identical statistically, and it was yeah. almost as if, you know, the Saints sputtered down the stretch of the season and they rested some players, and it took a half for them to kind of warm up, and Drew Brees warmed up, and certainly Michael Thomas warmed up, and, and this defense, and you mentioned it, Greg, his ability to call plays based on having that kind of a defense, and they came through in the second half. It, it's an it, it's a area in the football field that's very seldom attacked anymore, and that's that 20-yard deep end. I know it takes time, but it's there week in and week out. And thank God the Saints are one team not afraid to go at it. And quickly added, 2009, let's not forget, Sean Payton, why are we surprised? Remember he opened the second half up against the Colts in Super Bowl. What? Onside <laughs> kick. Right? Yep. This yep. guy is a gambler. <laughs> it will be a battle of Sean's. McVay against Peyton. Jay Glazer just had a chance to talk to the Rams head coach. What's he think of this preview? Yeah, as you said, Kurt just got off the phone with Sean McVay, and he said, look, from that first loss of the season, we learned a couple of things. Number one, that was our first loss of the entire year when we faced the Saints earlier, and that gave us some adversity, which we hadn't had at that point. Number two, now we have a better idea of how to handle that crowd, what we're walking into, because that dome is just different. And number three, man, we had a chance. We got to 35-35 to deliver a knockout blow, and we didn't. Now we have our chance again. All right. So now we know who's playing in the NFC Championship game. I'll start with you, Jimmy. Well, you know, it's a replay of the earlier game. They scored 45 points. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, they started out so slow today. You know, you know, they had all the miscues, the interception, delay of the game. <laughs> Breeze dropped a snap from center, dropped, you know, on a drop back. And I think that they'll be in better rhythm this time around. You know, and, of course, they've played the Rams. They've beaten the Rams. In that dome, they'll start much faster. Greg? I mean, anytime you get a chance to see the, the, all season the top two offenses in the NFC we're clearly the Saints and the Rams. And I think for them to have a collision course with it all on the line to go to the Super Bowl as a fan, as fans of the game, I'm not sure how much more you can ask for. We all saw what a, what a shootout that first game was. If you're looking for offense, uh, this game's for you. 
Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I, I look forward in this game. You want your best players on the field. I mean, the only player that's missing that contributed throughout the season is Cooper Cup out here in L.A. with the Rams. Other than that, I mean, they did a good <laughs> job of holding Gurley to, to at 68 yards in the first game. But watching the adversity that they overcame today lets you know that the Saints, once they're in rhythm, they are tough to stop and that this defense is the best defense they've had in their run for a long time. Sean Payton, they knocked the cobwebs off today. Sean Payton, Drew Brees, Alvin Kamara, Thomas is a monster. He had over 200 yards in their first meeting. And this defense, and we talked about it, it's why they play for home field advantage. And it might be the best home field advantage in football down there in New Orleans. Agreed. Yeah. All right, top two seeds matching up in the NFC. Same story in the AFC between the Patriots and the Kansas City well, Chiefs. If you go back to week six when the Kansas City went up to New England and lost 43-40, to 40, it was a great game in which Mahomes brought the team back with four touchdown passes. We're going to see next weekend – the greatest offenses machines we've seen all year. The four best offensive teams are playing, with the exception of Pittsburgh, which didn't make the playoffs. But these four teams, I'm telling you, this is what the league is built for us, what it's designed for us, what television wants. It used to be the old AFL. This is what you had. What's the over under on punts? Huh? Three? Three? Oh, that's it's bad. way too much. This is the first time in Super Bowl era, in the Super Bowl era, that the top four scoring offenses during the regular season. Mm -hmm. All made it to the conference like, championship. I was going to say that. So it's not about defense. That. That's what you're Our saying. game will come your way. Next week, coverage starts at 1 o'clock Eastern. The championship of the NFC will be determined. The winner will go on to the Super Bowl.